five and three out of the West Coast Conference. Our crew here tonight, a good officiating crew. We've got Garrick Shannon, Chuck Jones, and Ted Valentine. We are set from Memorial Gymnasium. And how about this for Vanderbilt? For the first time, all of the available players for Vanderbilt are healthy. Colin Smith will go here tonight. His minutes a little bit limited, but he is available for head coach Jerry Stackhouse. Marcus Williams on the kick out. Three pointer is no good that time for Newberry. Here's the starting five for Vanderbilt. Tyron Lawrence, Ben Allen Lupin, Ezra Mignon, Evan Taylor, and Carter Lang. Really nice first set that San Francisco ran there. Vanderbilt doing what they do well, hitting the defensive glass. This year, Vanderbilt has been terrific on the defensive end, closing out possessions. Five seconds to shoot for Taylor. For oh, good, should say Tyron Lawrence. Here's the starting five for San Francisco. And obviously, Chuck is the key name to know. 16.6 points per game and nearly averaging a double-double, just a shade under 10 rebounds per game. Newberry on the kick up. Shot of jumps, drives. That one is no good off the window that time. And rebounded by Vanderbilt. I think the other point, Andrew, in this for the people that are watching tonight, San Francisco is one of the best team defensive teams as well in all of America. Top 20 in many of the statistical categories. Triple try, no good that time for Van Allen Lupin. Yet they're 17th in the country in scoring defense. There's Chris Gerlifson, a little bit more focused on the offense. Done a great job with their three-point shooting. Here's head coach Jerry Stackhouse, SEC co-coach of the year from a season ago. Big time shoes tonight, too. I came in with my shoe game elevated today, but it can't touch Coach Stack. It almost never will. <laughs> Here's Lawrence. No points so far for either side. We're scoreless after two minutes of play. Williams jumps for three. There it goes down. Now that was a big problem for San Francisco in their loss to Arizona State a couple of days ago. Lost by 11, shot five for 30, 17% from three-point range, which is sort of the specialty for Coach Gerlofsson. This program has finished top 20 in the country each of the past two seasons in three-point shooting. They're stingy defensively now. Mobo, kick out to Newberry. To Dorovich, battles off. Shot up jumps. That goes down. Yeah, for all of the conversation crew about Gonzaga, St. Mary's, and the West Coast Conference, these guys are trying to break through into that top two of this conference. NCAA tournament, I believe, two years ago. All right, this is a program, obviously, we know that the previous coach went on to now coach in the SEC at the University of Florida. Yeah, Coach Golden. Yeah, you can see here, Andrew, look at these stats. Last year from a three-point made, Last uh, season, 10 three-point makes, seven this this season. You can see the percentage uh, from the field going down as well. But defensively, the number is if San Francisco holds opponents under 60, they are undefeated on the year. And this defense certainly can do it. 10 seconds to shoot for Vanderbilt. Still no points for the Commodores. More than three minutes into tonight's ball game. Here's Taylor. Difficult shot rattles off. Good defense by Todorovich. Loose ball. Carter Lang's got it. Held ball. Goes back to Vanderbilt. San Francisco right there, Andrew, on that side inbounds. Went to more of a zone look. Really did a nice job of switching back into man-to-man -man the last 10 seconds of the shot clock. That's advanced level defensive concepts. Well, San Francisco gives the credit to their assistant coach, Michael Plank, as the engineer, the architect behind the defense. And then head coach Chris Gerlofsson, a little bit more focused on the offense for the Dons. Now, he was brought in as an assistant coach for Coach Golden to be the offensive guy while Coach Golden worked on the defense. This was a couple of seasons ago. 
Here's Ben Avalupin. That is good. So Vanderbilt gets its first bucket. The transfer from Notre Dame, Ben Avalupin, with the baby jump shot. So talented. I love when he faces up, uses his multiple skill sets to get to his spots. Nice little turnaround jump shot. Nice soft touch. Oh, nice play offensively. Finger roll is good. Marcus Williams off a wonderful feed that time. Newberry, a nice little pick and roll. Bucket is no good for Taylor. Loose ball by San Francisco in transition for Newberry. Off the glass and good for the defense of Rivera Torres. Converting defense to offense there. You saw Mobo get that rebound and skip that ball out to Newberry for the finish. We didn't mention, but Rivera Torres checked into the basketball game. Foul is called against San Francisco. We'll see what Rivera Torres can get done for Vanderbilt back into the ball game. But how about this? Nice feed, pick and roll. It was Mobo to Marcus Williams for two. SoFi is helping me get my money right to achieve my ambitions. Want to see? Like saving for the ultimate tailgate setup. Feel the command that they they really do have with one another. It's pretty impressive thus far early in this game. A couple of those stats that reflect that through the fact that San Francisco is first West Coast Conference in assists 16 per game first in West Coast Conference in steals per game 10 per game. Uh, not that we've seen the steals show up just yet here today, but those are two stats that reflect whether it's discipline, whether it's organization, take your pick. You can feel those stats on display to your point for the first uh, four minutes, 30 seconds. At the free throw line for Carter Lang. We'll see if Vanderbilt can match the intensity, make this free throw here by laying and, and jump into maybe a, a press or a, or a faux press, establishing pressure in the backcourt here. Oh for two for Carter. Press with Williams, transfer from Texas A&M. Really under control. No good from three. That's time by Josh Kuda. See if Monyan can get an early attempt here on this possession. Vanderbilt is just one for seven so far from the floor. 0 for three from three-point range. San Francisco is two for five from distance. Tomateros checks in for the first time as Carter Lang goes to the bench. Beaker. Off to Newberry. Right back to Beaker. Travel. And it's called by Ted Valentine. He's just shuffled his feet. He was indecisive just checked into the game beaker did and was indecisive and in, in pulling the trigger on that first pass on his first possession of the night and a little bit of happy feet there teddy valentine with the travel call Rivera torres Right on through for the freshman. A great set there. Magnan with the baseline drive. We call that a baseline drift. Hammer pass to the backside corner. Rivera Torres for the three. Defense picks up for Vanderbilt. That goes down. It's the fourth turnover for the Don so far here tonight. Rivera Torres goes to work. Looking for Van Alalupe. Takes it himself. Off the glass and in. The freshman is starting to feel it. He's got five. I have loved watching his improvement already. Just eight, nine games into this year. So dynamic offensively. 
Well, struggling to shoot the three ball so far for San Francisco. Two for six now. Here's the run for Vanderbilt. Calling for the ball screen. Like it, the young freshman. Directing traffic. Boy, what quickness for Ezra. San Francisco wants the travel, doesn't get it. Ben Alalope. Yes. How soft. That's twice now we've seen Lubin with those turnaround jump shots and both. Nice touch, soft touch on the rim. Really significant 7-0 run for Vanderbilt here, Drew, to stabilize this game. Here's Bobo. Now Vanderbilt wants to walk, didn't get it. Could it? Into the corner. Take away for Vanderbilt, turnover number five. Here's Mignola, one on two. That's one of the side. In transition now. Lead feed, here's Bobo. His first bucket of the ball game. Leads the team in scoring and gets his first two. We've seen that twice now where San Francisco was able to convert defense to offense with quick, what we call pick six turnovers or pick six block. You're able to convert it quickly on the offensive end. Rivera Torres versus shot of jumps. Off the glass, no good. Bobo with the rebound. Next whistle for Vanderbilt, Colin Smith will check in. And so will Jordan Williams. Lobo to shot of jumps into the corner. Offensive foul. Hawthorne picks it up, and a good take that time by Taylor. So it's going to be a couple of shots for Vanderbilt, and then we're going to come back to the other end for San Francisco's basketball. Did I get that? You got it right. Okay. And in fact, the, the Mr. Official that came over and explained, I'm glad you picked up on it because he said a blocking foul on San Francisco, technical on San Francisco, and it would be San Francisco's ball. So I'm glad you got it straightened out for all of us, Andrew. That was fantastic. Uh, well, thank you to Chuck Jones, the official that stopped by. Boy, 0 for 2 for Vanderbilt at the free throw line. So, oh, Vanderbilt basketball. It'll be Vanderbilt basketball. I thought he originally said it would be San Francisco's basketball. Look at you, giving me false praise <laughs> in advance. Yeah, when he said come back down here, I thought he was giving it to San Francisco, but we're going the length of the court for Vanderbilt after the flagrant foul. Okay. So Taylor goes 0 for 2. Vanderbilt gets the rock. He called a legal screen. And a foul called against Vanderbilt. Colin Smith picks this one up. But again, thank you to Chuck Jones for stopping by. We do have a good crew here today. Ted Valentine, Garrick Shannon, and Chuck Jones. Malik Presley's checked into the game for Vanderbilt as well. After the timeout. No starters in the ball game at the moment for Vanderbilt, correct? That's correct, yeah. It looked like uh, Jordan Williams has checked into the game as well. How about that? Good finish. Malik Thomas off the glass. A transfer from USC. A junior from California. Five points per game for him. Gets his first bucket. The Dons by five. Boy, what defense by San Francisco. And it goes back to Vanderbilt. The Dons thought they had it. And here's the offense. How about the passing by Mobo here today? A couple yeah, of times, I mean, tremendous feeds into the post. And it's come from that left elbow both times. Just zip that ball. Look at that. That's a dime. What a pass. I was about to say, you talk about basketball players that can contribute when they're not scoring. Mobo just two points so far through 10 minutes. He's their top scorer. But we've seen good passing. We've seen good active hands defensively. He gives you a lot more than just points. That's right. Here we see we saw San Francisco go to that that side inbound zone defense. Vanderbilt had a hard time recognizing there. Pop 
Thomas thought about the three. And Vanderbilt forces the turnover. That's the sixth on San Francisco. Vanderbilt has two turnovers so far. Camateros. Book and rip court for Camateros. It's a good looking stroke. Really shoots the basketball well. Camateros on the season, Andrew, 44% from three coming into this game. for Marcus Williams, the former Wyoming and Mountain West freshman of the year. Knocked down the triple, third triple of the ball game for San Francisco. The Williams transferred Wyoming to Texas A&M and then to San Francisco. Yeah, so we've got uh, two former Aggies on the floor. It's a pretty stroke. That was a uh, former teammate guarding former teammate, right? That was Jordan That's, Williams getting out true. there, yeah. uh, playing defense on uh, Marcus Williams. Away from the ball. And a foul goes against Vanderbilt. It goes against, let's see, Jordan Williams picks it up. What they call hold on the on the cut there through the lane, look like maybe, by Williams. Being physical, I like it. Reminding the cutter that I'm going to be here all night. I'm going to be physical. It's not going to be easy. Each team with three fouls so far. Shot up jumps, gives it up to Mopo. Ten seconds to shoot for the Dons. Williams fires. You bet. Back-to-back -back triples go down. He's got 15 made three-pointers so far this season, and the Dons stretch it out to eight points. That's a pretty shot. That's a hard shot, Andrew. Coming off the screen to your left as a right-handed shooter, it's a very difficult shot. He made it look really easy right there. Here's Williams. Again, Ankies versus Ankies here on the kick out for Kamateros. Yes! Three balls here midway through the first half. Going down for both sides. Williams and Kamateros. Such a beautiful stroke for a big man. That was outstanding by Williams there to show patience to find Comateros. Jason Rivera Torres gets the steal. Well, Tree, you can talk about Vanderbilt's defense schematically, but they have forced five steals here tonight, a handful of turnovers. If nothing else, they've taken shots and possessions away from San Francisco. Colin Smith, no good. That was a tough one. I, I know Vanderbilt was up against a shot clock. There was about five or six seconds left on the shot clock there, but awfully tough shot attempt. I mean, how about this, Drew? It's a five-point game. Shot of jumps, fires. That's no good. It's a five-point game, and San Francisco is shooting 62% from the floor. Wow. That's indicative of the steals and the turnovers. They're eight for 13. No good rebound by shot of jumps. Thomas versus Kamateros. Yes, and the foul. Malik Thomas off the glass through contact. He gets it and one. Such a strong play. The Don's lead by seven. This is a tough take for the transfer out of California. Getting to the off. For the Don so far has been the seven turnovers. Their assists have been fantastic. Eight assists on nine made field goals. Again, they are first in the West Coast Conference in assists per game with 16 of them as the Dons try to push their way toward the top of the West Coast Conference with St. Mary's and Gonzaga. Of course, made the NCAA tournament a couple of seasons ago as a 10 seed, lost to Murray State in Indianapolis. And then Coach Golden went to Florida. And then Coach Gerlipson got promoted to head coach his second year. Has 25 victories, looking for number 26.
as San Francisco plays a true road game versus an SEC opponent for the first time since 1996 versus Arkansas. Razorbacks won that game 27 years ago, but the Dons have won six games versus Southeastern Conference teams. First time that Vanderbilt and San Francisco have ever played in the two programs' histories. Almost surprising, with the exception of the fact that they're, you know, sort of on opposite coasts. <laughs> Uh, but with all of the history with both programs, nice Good kick, pass. looping, no good. Battle for the board goes to Malik Thomas. I like Malik Thomas's game. He plays bigger than he is, you know, bigger than his, his height, physical. Newberry for three, rattles it home. Yep. So the fifth three-pointer so far here tonight for San Francisco. Yeah, Newberry, the recipient of that, but that all started with, once again, Marcus Williams with the penetration and the great pass. Two feet in the paint and the kick out. Calvateros to Mignon. The Dons by 11 here. Nice cut by Tyron Lawrence on the kick to Colin Smith. Welcome back, Colin Smith. Book it, left corner. What a pretty stroke. Once again, there's that baseline drive. Backside corner hit. Colin Smith with a beautiful three-pointer. And a trailing violation called against Marcus Williams. Good defense by Vanderbilt and Ezra McGill. But how about the feed for Tyron? Look at that pass. What a great pass. Colin Smith exactly where he's supposed to be. That's practiced over and over again on a baseline drive at that backside corner we used to call that a ghost pass in basketball circles they call it a hammer pass but that backside corner drift such a great concept by coach stackhouse and the vanderbilt coaching staff you just trying to be different calling it a ghost pass it's just what we started to call it years ago with little our little guys and they loved the name and so it just stuck Jump shot is good for Ezra McGowan. That may have been his first attempt in the game. Maybe a second attempt. Yeah, one Sorry, two. Well, two points for Mignon and two points for Mobo. Three ball is no good that time by Kuda. Rebound by Vanderbilt, but two of the more significant scores have not been factored so far for either side. Ezra, no good. Rebound by Kuda. Here's Thomas, held ball. Stays with San Francisco. Great, de great defense there. San Francisco starting to get downhill with the vertical drive and Lawrence does a nice job of getting both hands on the basketball. Thomas goes to the bench, kind of goes full running back there and covers up the basketball, but Vanderbilt's Gets the held possession. It goes back to San Francisco. Kuda looks a little bit lost in the corner. Out to shot up jumps. See if they can get Mobo a touch here. Todorovic is no good. Deflected out to Kuda. Pulls up for three. Rattles it home. How many times do you see that, Andrew? You get penalized by the basketball guides, not securing a rebound that you should have had, and the ball gets tipped out. Kuna makes a big three. Boy, San Francisco 16 rebounds to Vanderbilt seven so far. And a foul goes against Vanderbilt as the Magnol. Coach Dak just pleased with the call. Let's see it again. Oh, 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 oh. Andrew, I, I, I mean, he flexed the muscles. I don't think he extended them. <laughs> I don't know if they saw the biceps flare up. What? Coach Stackhouse still giving Teddy Valentine a piece of his mind, as he should, in my opinion. That was Mobo to that left elbow. Williams, yes, another great pass. I mean, did you see that pass? He, he almost like lost the basketball and had a one-handed no-look pass. Skipped it out to Williams for that three in the corner. 
I mean, we can talk about Williams knocking down shots, and he's got 14, but how about the leading score, Mobo, with six rebounds and six assists so far here today? Do more today. They went sure. to every one of these countries to bring the student athletes in. Like, shot of jumps is a transfer from Dayton. He's the one from Mongolia. So, Gerlofsson wasn't off there in Asia right. doing that. Uh, but still, uh, they have found a niche. And if you've got to compete with P4, P5 these days, you've got to find your niche wherever it happens to be. That basketball conference out that direction, too. You start thinking about St. Mary's. You think about Gonzaga. Yep. Uh, Santa Clara, I mean, uh, what Tommy Lloyd's doing now at Arizona, very similar, making the, the roster very flat internationally. Boy, toughness down low. Bucket Look, is good for Todorovic. Todorovic gets the assist from Mobo. Mobo. I mean, he's got seven here, which is remarkable. He is the top scorer on this team, 17 points per game. He's got two points, but seven assists triple double watch if he starts to get up to his points per game it's not like he struggled offensively though he's one for two from the floor he's just not active offensively as a shooter but he's been very active as a facilitator perhaps philosophically strategically here tonight by coach Gerlofsson I don't know uh, but perhaps that's the plan yeah they have entered their offense through him on that left elbow many possessions and allowed him to facilitate. Ezra. And it stays with Vanderbilt. Well, San Francisco has played great so far this season, five and three. They are coming off a loss against Arizona State, which Vanderbilt understands all too well what Arizona State can be when they play well. But they've got a victory over Minnesota. They've got a good victory over Dayton so far this season. Uh, they've performed well throughout the course of the year. Colin Smith off the front of the rim. So this San Francisco team playing well here tonight on the road in Nashville is not a surprise. Look who's facilitating the offense, Andrew, in this possession. Look at that. Todorovic. A couple of shots. Foul called against Vanderbilt. Two from the free throw line. For Stefan Todorovic, a transfer from SMU out of Serbia. Mobo almost playing that point forward spot. Like another San Francisco personality, Draymond Green for the Golden State Warriors, who initiates a lot of the Warrior offense. That's what we saw there from Mobo. At this point, it certainly feels by design, right? The fact that Mobo's got two shots, has all of these assists, is facilitating the offense. It, it doesn't feel by circumstance anymore. It certainly feels by design. We said it, Andrew, coming into this basketball game that San Francisco was one of the best team defensive teams in all of NCAA basketball. And they have shown that tonight. They are very stingy on the defensive end. Vanderbilt shooting 34% from the field. San Francisco closing out possessions with rebounding the basketball as well. 19 to 8. The rebound advantage for San Francisco. Blocking foul is called against San Francisco. Again, shot of jumps. It's going to put Tyron Lawrence at the free throw line for a couple of shots. No points so far for Tyron. It was a good, strong drive to his dominant hand, the left side. Maybe getting two free throws will help get Tyron going. Goodness for Vanderbilt, 0 for 5 now. That's two misses by Taylor, two misses by Carter Lang, and one miss so far by Tyron Lawrence. There we go. There's Mobo facilitating. Into the corner, Thomas. 
Yes. Rick Kors from the corner. Malik Thomas book it. And eight assists for Bobo. So impressive, Andrew, just to think that here's their leading scorer that is totally satisfied with distributing the basketball. I mean, you talk about buying into a game plan. There's Ben on the low bit, a tough take. He's got a couple of points right there. At six points so far tonight. Vanderbilt's leading score. Yeah, we've definitely picked up a key here of their game plan. Well, it's difficult because he starts to drive on that previous possession. You focus on him, it just opens up everybody. Boy, Jet settles through the net on by Newberry. Newberry's impressive, too. Made a three, driven the ball to the paint, finished. Nice soft touch there. A junior out of England into the corner for Smith. Yes, Colin Smith, his second three-pointer here today. He's got six points. Both three-pointers for Smith coming from that left corner. To Dorovich. And a foul is called on the floor. There it was again. Mobo initiating the offense. Nice little curl cut there. Second personal foul goes against Williams for Vanderbilt. One and one opportunity for Todorovich. Todorovich is transferred from SMU. Big time players. They all fit too, right? Like it seems like the way that they want to play, they've got a bunch of guys. That fit that's in four for four from the three-point arc for Marcus Williams. Averages 15 points per game. A lot of these guys on their third schools. Marcus Williams on his third school, Wyoming, Texas a and at San Francisco. And Mobo's on his third school from a junior college, Missouri State, and now San Francisco. See the switch of defense here to 1 3 1 for the last possession. And then they flip out of it. Into the corner for Taylor. Yes, at the buzzer. Big bucket for Vanderbilt. Had to have it. And Taylor gave it to him. 43 to 29. Vanderbilt can get Ezra something early. Maybe Lawrence something early. See if there, there's a call that goes to one of those two guys to get them going in this basketball game with a combined three points in the first half. Well, Coach Stackhouse had a fantastic call to get a three ball by Taylor to finish off the half. We'll see what Vanderbilt goes to to start the half. Vanderbilt trails 43-29. San Francisco at five and three so far this season. And Vanderbilt is at four and four. Foul is called. And this one goes against Newberry. First possession there, you could see that Vanderbilt was, they entered the basketball to Lawrence, who entered it into Lubin, getting their best players some touches here early in the in the second half. Uh, for what it's worth, Drew, foul's not a significant factor, really for either side, Colin Smith has two shot of jumps. That's two for San Francisco, that's kind of it, that was the first foul against Newberry. Here's Lawrence, nice feed. Retirement attack. Floater and going for Tyler Lawrence. He's got three points. Love seeing that early on. A aggressive drive. Left-handed dominant player with that nice right-handed finish. Here's Bobo. Now try to post him up. Bobo versus Lupin into the corner for Williams. Todorovic. No good. Battle for the rebound goes to Vanderbilt. That's been an issue for Vanderbilt here tonight. 19 to 9 is the difference in favor of San Francisco. Flutter is good for Taylor. Nearly fell, but Vanderbilt starts the second half on a 4-0 run. Two great drives. 
Taylor with that one, but Vanderbilt's got to rebound the basketball. You mentioned it, Andrew. They've been terrific all year. That straight line drive cannot happen. Too, too easy of a drive right off the top. But Vanderbilt's been outstanding on the glass this year, and the first half was just dominated by San Francisco. So two points for Bobo. He's got four. Great cut there by Colin Smith. Ben Allen Lupin versus Newberry. It is rejected. How about that block? Here's the previous bucket by Evan Taylor. Goodness, almost fell a couple of times. <laughs> Gets it to go. Did a nice job of getting, once it came to the point of releasing the ball, gained great control of his body. But up until that moment, it was a little iffy at best. <laughs> Lawrence, total control right there. Smooth finish with the left. He's got five. Right back to San Francisco and shot of jumps. Finishes with the flush. Look what I found. Gets a little bit lucky after the first turnover. Here's Colin Smith. He is physical to the bucket and it's good and the foul. The strategy for Vanderbilt out of the locker room, take it to him, take it to the rim. And it's worked for Vanderbilt so far. Some great drives, all by different players as well. It's We've seen Lawrence, we've seen Taylor, and now we saw Smith with the big and one finish. Eight points for Colin Smith. You have to be impressed with Vanderbilt. Early in the second half, an attack mindset. You can tell their energy is much different about them in this half. No good for Colin Smith. Vanderbilt is one for seven from the free throw line. Right up ahead to Newberry into the quarter. Marcus Williams jumps. No good. His first miss from distance. Four for five. They are looking to kick out for the three. Huh? A couple of times I thought they could finish at the rim. And they chose to kick it out. Stays with Vanderbilt here off of Marcus Williams. It's two great passes. We we had the angle here, the the San Francisco player that was diving to the basket. It was an outstanding pass. And then it did look like Andrew, he had a layup and he skipped that ball out to Williams for the three. Again, it's their nature. The San Francisco team a couple of seasons ago finished 17th in the country in three-pointers made, and last season they were seventh. Smith, no good. So it is the desire for San Francisco to try to get the three balls. That's the offensive strategy for Coach Gerlofson in his second season here with the Dons. San Francisco was known the last couple of years for really being analytically driven in their approach to offensive basketball. Rejected at the rim. Kick out for Thomas. That's no good. Ezra, you bet. And Vanderbilt has this down to single digits. Vanderbilt seen four different players with four vertical drives and finishes in this half. That is so good to see. San Francisco 8 of 18 from three-point range. And it stays with San Francisco here on the baseline of the bounds. Been a great response from Vanderbilt in this second half, not even to the first media timeout. You can already see the energy flip that has occurred coming out of halftime. Well, if you include the three ball by Taylor to finish off the half, it was a 17-point game in favor of the Dodgers. Now it's down to eight. Shot up jumps. No good. Eight of 19, still 40% from distance. But this has opened up the door for Vanderbilt. Ezra, yes, down to six points, 47 to 41. Ezra McGowan, the floater is good. He's got six points. Timeout 
taken. Memorial is coming along. Vanderbilt is six for eight here in the second half. Well, oh, down. how about Ezra Mignon, Tyron Lawrence? We talked about the fact that those guys had to get going four for four to start off the second half. Those have all been at the rim. Those are three foot shots, and they're four for four. And once again, you add Taylor's drive and you add Colin Smith's drive, and every shot that Vanderbilt has converted on has been at the rim. Vanderbilt showing a zone look here. And by the way, Jerry Stackhouse is going to say if we make our free throws, it's a tie ball game. They have missed six free throws, one for seven here tonight. Thomas for three. No good. Another missed three pointer. Great job by the Vanderbilt zone. The confidence is plummeting for San Francisco from distance. Tyron to Evan Taylor. Good matchup here. Ben Allen Lupin versus Bobo. It is good. How about that finish? Just a scoop off the glass. It's down to four. The fifth Vanderbilt player to score at the rim this half. What a great drive. Do you see the way he finished that with the creativity? At what point does Mobo start to score? Travel. Tough defense by Lawrence. Knocked away, picked up. Kunin's got it. It is good from the corner. Goodness. Oh, my goodness. Just what a possession. <laughs> what a possession by Kunin that started so badly but ended so beautifully. Everything was rough except the finish for the kid from Australia. Just gigantic for the Dons. Back out to seven. Little shake for Tyron. Out to Ezra. They'll give him some space. He'll fire. Rattles off. Picked up by Mobo. 23 to 14, the advantage for San Francisco in rebounding. Kunin, the lefty, back to back buckets. What a killer for Vanderbilt. They had closed this game within four, and it's back to 10. 53 to 43. Is that Kunin's third three point basket on the game? Three for five. No good off the glass by Ezra. In transition for Thomas. The confidence builds again. It is good with the left for Thomas. He's got 10 points. Up and down basketball here. Evan Taylor works on Thomas. Nothing there. Quick answer by S San Francisco here with those two made clean and threes and then the finish at the rim. It's an 8-0 run. Oh, confusion for Vanderbilt offensively. It finds its way to Van Allen open and let's see a foul is called against San Francisco So could it goes back to back from distance to build this out to 55 to 43 after Vanderbilt had it down to four They needed it a little bit of desperation and then the second one was smooth Macbeth, I am in blood stepped in so far that I should All wait. All students, no the blood drive is now open. Please report to the gymnasium. Don't like contact. Goodness. <laughs> Look at that finger taped up as well on his shooting hand, that left-handed stroke that we've seen the last two possessions. Big spot for Vanderbilt. 12-point game again. 8-0-1 for the Dons at 5-3 so far this season. Vanderbilt at 4-4 four four coming off the victory versus Alabama A&M. San Francisco just lost to Arizona State by 11. Seven seconds to shoot. Ben on the low bit. He can hit it and does. Pretty stroke all set up by the Mignon drive and kick. Vanderbilt showing a little bit of a different look here defensively. Created the turnover. Violation. That is the 10th on San Francisco here tonight. Vanderbilt has six. That drive and kick. Lubin with the big three. The Vanderbilt switched to that three-quarter court press. Created a nice turnover to they try to speed the game up maybe a little bit. Boy, both teams shooting above 50%. 54% for San Francisco, right at 50% here for Vanderbilt. Seven three-pointers for the Commodores and ten three-pointers for San Francisco. After going five for 30, 
versus the Sun Devils. Ezra pump fakes on a three, drives down the baseline, mm. off the glass, and good. My goodness. Sorcery. Ezra Mignon. Very slick. How good was that? That was a big time finish. Off the glass and in for Williams. His first bucket of the second half. He's got 16 points. It's the first time we've seen that where Williams posted up Magnan on the block. Nice little jump hook finish. Rivera Torres, he's been quiet tonight. Off the glass, no good. Picked up by Williams. And Jerry Stackhouse is in the ear of Garrick Sharon. And Shannon makes the call against Rivera Torres. Well, Stackhouse wanted one from Shannon on the other end and then got it against Rivera Torres on the next day. But Mignon, just gorgeous. The reverse. At Amica, we know the most important part of the home is the family. Uh, they're top 20 in the country in uh, scoring defense. They give up just 62 points per game. And maybe that's where Vanderbilt finishes off. But uh, from the floor, 20 for 40 for Vanderbilt. Yeah, Vanderbilt this half has been extremely efficient with all the rim shots and the ability to get into the paint has been crucial for Vanderbilt. Here's Mopo. Just four points for him. Isaiah West, Paul Lewis check into the game for the first time tonight. Here's Bobo, tries to go to work. There's the help defense, help ball, stays with the Dons. How come you don't think Mobo has been more active offensively here tonight for San Francisco? Yancey's yes, been a facilitator in the first half. I kind of wondered if they would counter with some of this stuff in the second half. It's a great question. Uh, there's clearly something San Francisco sees as a matchup that they like. But I'm with you. You would think they, they would still try to get him some, some production opportunities. Here's Williams. Fires for three. No good. I mean, he's 74% from the field. I wondered if there was matchups perhaps that they don't like down low with Ben Allen Lupin. As we mentioned, Paul Lewis checks into the game, running the point guard spot. Rivera Torres knocks it down. Big bucket. 57 to 51. Vanderbilt stays attached. It's a big shot. That was a tough shot off that handoff. Intercepted. Colin Smith. Bounce pass. Here's Paul Lewis. Has space. Does not fire. No good. What a rebound by Mobo. The length. He's got 10 rebounds and 8 assists. Williams, the floater, deflected and goes back to Williams. Attacks the baseline for shot of jumps. The lob for Mobo is knocked loose. Boy, what a scrum. Cotton Smith flares the elbow as we get a health ball that goes to Vanderbilt. The most jump balls I've seen in a collegiate basketball game in a long time. Could have called hook right there. Vanderbilt did a nice job of getting their hands on the basketball, then down on the floor. I was worried about the elbows for Cotton Smith. Or a foul against Mobo. Uh, but we get the health ball, and Vanderbilt gets the possession anyway in a six point game. We should have a fantastic finish here tonight. 57 to 51. Ten minutes to go in a game that feels like it could have implications come tournament time. Jump shot, battles off. Both of these teams could point to this game come Selection Sunday if they're in the conversation. If. Look at this matchup, Andrew Mobo versus Lewis there up top. Could it? On the kick out. Gets it back. Off the glass, no good. That's Newberry. Yeah, I should say that's Newberry. Coonan's on the bench. A couple of free throws here for San Francisco, leading by six points. Nice little shot fake and drive. Hard collision by two physical players. Like Bottom, 
I'm sorry, Comenteros looked like he got a little bit of the worst of that collision. Sorry about that, Andrew. Five for five from the free throw line. It's good. If you were going to point to a stat, six of six for the Dons, one of seven free throw for Vanderbilt. That is almost your point differential right there. Darn close, an eight-point game. Rebounds also significant, 29 to 15 in favor of San Francisco. Foul's not a huge factor, just gets. This one does go against shot of jumps. The transfer from Dayton out of Mongolia. There's Kudin, checks back in, and Mobo gets arrested at 9.15. I assumed Williams would not get much of a rest. Be a quick one to get him back into the game. Just check back in. And a turnover, Vanderbilt, right down the floor, and a finish. Oh, goodness. Look out at the rim for Newberry, right in the face of Comateros. Andrew, that was big time. I was not expecting Newberry to jump up and dunk that basketball. As you see, Comateros, here's the thing. That was intense on that side. Comateros' bucket is worth more. Yes. Yes. Give me three. It's Comateros' third three-point make on the night. Continuing to show that pretty stroke. Drive and kick for Newberry. Yes. Ripcord switch. These guys have knocked down 11 triples. The Dons back out to a 10-point advantage. Newberry's a player, too. They've got some guys on this team. They do. Wow. For a fairly reconstructed team as well. Reaching foul goes against San Francisco. That's the Dons' fifth here in the second half. Blocking foul goes against Newberry. Third personal foul. That's the first one of note. So three personal fouls for Newberry. Mobo checking in for Newberry. Was that Newberry's third foul? Yes, sir. Yeah, I thought Gerlipson was trying to get Mobo to the media timeout at eight minutes. Could not do so because of the third personal foul picked up by Newberry. Here's Comateros. Fires a triple. No good. Goes to Beaker. I thought so, too. Another one of those righty shooters going to his left. Knocked it about. And it goes back to Vanderbilt. So the Doors basketball, a 10-point game of Dandy coming to the finish line. 7.54 to go here from Nashville. Up to 14 points here tonight. And he's done a great job here in the second half as well. Seven points for Newberry so far through 12 minutes in the second half. A big stretch for both sides. San Francisco is looking for its second victory over a Power 5 team here so far this season. Ezra, no good. Battle for the board. A victory versus Minnesota. A good win versus DePaul. Lost to Arizona State. And playing just their first true road game against an SEC opponent in 27 years. 1996 versus Arkansas. Williams. No good. Saw San Francisco back to that elbow action. Nice little find there for Lubin to get a nice easy two points, or his easiest of the night. Vanderbilt going to show a little bit of his own look here. Well, for Lubin, that's 13 points through. Tabateros has nine. Vignola has eight. Rivera Torres has eight. Great balance. Kune rolls off. No good rebound by Tabateros. Again, this feels like a big stretch for both sides. It's not conference play, but if you're looking for victories to point to come tournament time, this could be a nice one for both sides. Rivera Torres. Goes Iso off to Paul Lewis. Works against Beaker. Nowhere to go. 
Rivera Torres has confidence, and it's knocked loose. Picked up by Gooden. Off to Thomas. The Dons work in the half courts. What a cut. Williams into the corner for Thomas. Jumps for three. No good. Battle for the board. It goes to Beaker. The little guy gets fouled. Wow. Foul goes against Ben Allen Lupin. How about Justin Beaker? Has not played a ton here tonight. Just out battles the freshman, Jason Rivera Torres. And he's got two free throws. Did you say Justin Bieber or Justin Beaker? Well, honestly, if you replace the K with a B, you've got Bieber. That's the spelling. It's a great hustle play by Justin Beaker. There on that offensive rebound. First free throw miss. Uh, not to deviate too much. With a couple of daughters, I've got a hunch that you've been to a Justin Bieber concert. Maybe one or four. <laughs> there you go. Evan Taylor checks in. One for two for Beaker. Big possession right here. Vanderbilt only down nine. Camateros bounce mm. out. That's that got close. halfway down. Goodness, that would have been his fourth triple of the ball game. A couple of notable foul situations on the floor. You've got shot up jumps with four, and Newberry with three. 526 to go. Here's Williams. He's been cold in the second half. Newberry has not. Pump takes on a three. Gets toward the bucket on the kick out. Shot up jumps. Fires a three. Comes up well short. Rebound for Evan Taylor. They certainly kick it out in favor of the three ball for sure. 11 for 26 from distance. That's 43%. Ben Amalopin. Baseline jumper. No good. That one is deflected. It's a loose ball. Stays with Vanderbilt. Shut up jumps. Had it. And could not corral it. Well, both teams on a bit of a scoring drought. No field goals for San Francisco in the past 329. No scoring period for Vanderbilt in 2-12. Shot of jump checks out. And Isaiah Hawthorne, a forward from Tracy, California, checks in. Big possession right here. See if Vanderbilt can get exactly what they want. Nine-point ball game. There That's got to be a goal today, huh? What's been good to Vanderbilt this half? Timeout taken by Vanderbilt. Timeout taken by head coach Jerry Stackhouse. 4.48 to go. As Ezra Mignon just the blow by. How quick. The ability to turn, create an angle. Get in there with the big guys. Yeah, they'll, they'll take a look at this at the monitor, but that's that's fairly clear. Yeah. They confirm. Chuck Jones says two for Ezra Mignon. Seven-point game. Mignon's got ten points. Lupin's got 13. Camateros has nine. 16 points for Williams here, but just two in the second half for San Francisco's leading score. And Newberry's got seen much of Carter Lang here in the second half, but he did start. Plus, they like the three ball. Like, that's their strategy. 11 for 26. So 26 of their 46 attempts have been behind the three-point arc. Yeah. And any number of times, Drew, you've seen them drive, get to the bucket, have an opportunity to dunk or lay it in, and still kick it out. That's the analytics. Here's Williams. That side, smooth off the glass with the right hand from the left side. Williams has four points in the second half, 18 total. It's been those two guys. They, they love that elbow action. Hitting Mobo at the elbow, and Williams able to cut off and get a direct drive on the left side. Here's Lupin. Goes to work versus Newberry. Eyes up, now goes back toward the basket. Fades, fires. Off the glass, no good. 
And Mobo picks up his 13th rebound of the ball game. Newberry wants three. Give him three. Newberry, 17 points, three triples, smooth from the top of the key. Andrew, you called it. It was Williams and Newberry. Two man game there at the top of the key. Mignon tries to put some English on that one. And let's see, held ball. That's going to go back to San Francisco. But Newberry gets the board. What a performance. 17 points. He's got three rebounds, one assist, one block, one steal, and knocks it down to build the advantage to 12. Tournament back in 2022, the first time since 1998 for this program. And Coach Gerlitzen, who is an assistant coach on Coach Golden staff back in 2022, if they can challenge Gonzaga, if they can challenge St. Mary's in this conference, they certainly feel like they could get right back there to the NCAA tournaments and perhaps be an at-large bid. They're playing that well. They look that good, at least in the first chunk of the season. Very impressive. Doesn't it just feel like a team that knows who it is? Yeah, they, great I identity and purpose, belief. Once again, they play at a great pace. They just really understand one another. They celebrate one another. Mopo, no good on the floater late in the shot clock. And this stays with San Francisco. Huge, huge chunk in this ball game. The next 60 seconds for Vanderbilt to keep this close. Perhaps get it down to single digits and give yourself a chance. Mobo did get a shot attempt there on that possession. Well, I thought that was close to going back to Vanderbilt, but they stick with San Francisco. Williams offline. Offensive rebound waved off. A pushing foul that time called against. Let's see. Hawthorne picks it up. That does put Vanderbilt in the one and one. 17 foul. Vanderbilt with two timeouts and San Francisco with two timeouts as well. Vanderbilt with three team fouls. Big possession here for Vanderbilt to score and to set up their defense in the backcourt here as they try to create some turnovers after a successful offensive possession. Colin Smith, but the defense for San Francisco just takes so much time off the clock in a 12-point game that it's no good for Ben Allen Lopin. Loose ball picked up by Mobo. Now down to 220. Look at the spacing. Uh, San Francisco against that trapping defense. And look at the time that they've taken off the clock. Shot up Jones, Kansas. His second three-pointer of the ball game comes at a significant time for the Dons. As they look for their seventh ever program victory versus the Southeastern Conference here tonight. Taylor, no good. And it certainly feels like they're right there. Again, they have not played a true road game versus the Southeastern Conference team since 1996. They lost to Arkansas. They've come to Nashville here tonight, a timeout taken by the Dons, and they've got a 15-point advantage with 90 seconds to go. Well, Vanderbilt does what it needs to do. Almost got the steal by Lupin. Almost got the over and back that time as well. Very close multiple turnovers there timeout bells out san francisco there's not much to pick on here for san francisco tonight the only thing would be 13 turnovers but they've kept that to a minimum in the second half that was an issue in the i think that's the understated story in this game and and then the other thing is this san francisco we talk about the under 60 but when they shoot over 50%, they're undefeated as well. Now, Vanderbilt is 13th Southeastern Conference in field goal percentage defense at 45% allowed to start off the season, which has been interesting. Five seconds to shoot. No rush here for the Dons. 
Hawthorne lets it fly. Shot clock violation. At that point for San Francisco, probably the 30 seconds coming off the clock more significant than making a bucket. With the advantage up to 15. Vanderbilt is one of its last seven, has not scored in the past three minutes, 40 seconds of tonight's ball game. As Vanderbilt is on the verge of falling below 500. With some difficult games coming up. They've got Texas Tech coming up. Foul goes against Bobo. The other thing tonight as it relates to Vanderbilt is Lawrence and Mignon at this point are combined 15 points. And coming into this game, average combined over 30 points. So at half their average. I'll say this too. One of the points that we made about Vanderbilt coming into tonight's ball game is the fact that this is the first time that all of their available players are healthy. That's a good thing. The flip side of that is this is game number nine. So you're still trying to get the on-floor chemistry with, for the first time, all of your guys healthy. But the other team has been playing like this for eight games as well with their consistency. So that's going to take a little bit of time to build that for Vanderbilt. That's... That is worth noting. That is a good thing for Vanderbilt. This is a difficult score. But if you can get Smith healthy and keep Lawrence out there and keep Ben Alanupin out there, these guys will develop that chemistry right. heading toward conference play. This is always a difficult part of the season, too, for Vanderbilt, just speaking from experience with exams and the final of the semester. A lot of academic requirements as well. No doubt. Because Vanderbilt's next game is actually the 16th. So quite a bit of layoff, get through exams. Like you said, get in the practice gym and, and get some of the chemistry things worked out. Notable games with Texas Tech and Memphis before we start off Southeastern Conference play. But tonight, it's about the Dons. Final score here from Memorial, 73 to 60. And San Francisco gets its seventh program victory over the Southeastern Conference for the first time in 27 years.